Presonus just released Studio One 6. Thanks to Sweetwater, I was able to get early access to this software so that I could experiment with some of the new features. I don't personally have much experience with Studio One, but I hope this video provides a good overview of the features and workflow so you can decide if it's a good fit for you. I think one of the main focuses of this release is to create a more personalized experience for each user and session. When you create a new session, the first thing you'll see is a list of smart templates that will set up your session tracks and windows in a way that's optimized for the project that you're working on. You'll find a template for recording and mixing, mastering, rehearsing and performing live, capturing ideas with instruments, producing beats, and even creating podcasts and video content. Each smart template has unique settings for that type of session, and some even have a Dropbox where you can add stems or other files that you want preloaded into your session. Once you're in a template, the workspace will be customized for the task at hand with the other features of the software hidden. You can customize the features available at any time using the Customization Editor, which provides a quick way to hide and expose nearly every tool and function in the software to suit the needs of you and your session. You can also quickly load track presets, which will save you the trouble of needing to rebuild the same signal flow for a track or group of tracks over and over again. Let's say you want to sit down and start experimenting with some musical ideas on your instrument. You can choose the Play Now Smart Template, choose the instrument you want to record, and a session will load with the essential tracks, instruments, and plugins already configured. One feature that musicians and songwriters will really appreciate is lyrics integration. This is useful for composition in the score editor, and it's also helpful to quickly navigate through different sections of the song based on the global lyrics track at the top of the timeline. If you perform or rehearse live, you can even transfer the lyrics to the show page for reference. I've been really impressed with the live performance features built into Studio One. You can organize a full set list of songs, including backing track and patch changes that can be set up programmatically or controlled on the fly, either with the show page in the DAW or even with a remote iPad app. Using these tools, you could orchestrate a full show in your DAW to accompany you while maintaining the ability to improvise and change things up in real time. This release also includes some big upgrades for podcasters and content creators. Let's open up the Create Content Smart Template, and we'll see that it creates a music and effects track, as well as a couple of voiceover tracks. You can simply connect your mics and start using the preloaded channel strips with the basic audio plugins already loaded for either live streaming or recording a podcast. One of the biggest updates is the new global video track, where you can drag and drop video files and expose the audio subtrack for referencing and processing. Studio One gives content creators the basic video editing functionality they need while maintaining the powerful audio-focused features of a full DAW. The general look and feel of Studio One has changed a bit with this upgrade as well. The first feature that I noticed is the channel overview window. This pane shows a consolidated view of the selected channel, including input controls, inserts, sends, and QMix sends. For me, this makes the DAW feel more like a digital console where everything is more easily accessible, making for a faster workflow. Another workflow feature that's been added is the flip to fader mode, which allows you to control any send level using the channel faders. This is awesome for quickly whipping up submixes or headphone mixes to various destinations and again, contributes to a more console-like workflow. If you're like me and you're just starting to learn about the features of Studio One, you should definitely know about the full project workflow that's built right into this software. I like the fact that this one piece of software can support you throughout the various phases of your project, from gathering ideas, to recording and mixing, all the way to mastering. It's all treated as a single project too, so you aren't restricted to a linear workflow. Let me give you an example of what I mean here. Let's say you've arranged, recorded, and mixed your song, but you've noticed a mistake that will require you to rework some things in the multi-track session rather than fixing the mistakes on the mastering panel. You can simply go back to the song tab within that project, then you can update the master mix down without the need to bounce between various folders and sessions. 
Thanks again to Personas and Sweetwater for helping to get Studio One Six into my hands. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you can find a link in the description below.